this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel. Um, what I thought we'd do in this video is um, have breakfast together. Uh, now, if you recall, in a bunch of previous videos um, that I put together, I showed you guys how I ended up making crab apple butter. And um, I had a couple people ask me how I eat crab apple butter. Uh, so I figured this was a pretty good opportunity uh, for breakfast and I do eat crab apple butter a fair bit for breakfast and I do snack on it throughout the day every now and then. Uh, well, fairly often actually. Uh, so I figured I'd show you, you know, the you know, three basically main ways that I do eat crab apple butter. Um, so just in case if you come across it or if you plan on making some crab apple butter, um, uh, you'll have an appreciation of what you can do with it and I'm pretty sure there's a lot lot of other things that you can do with it I know uh, some people comment that you can cook with it you can um, uh, I think with roast uh, it went well if I recall correctly some people posted comments um, but let me show you how I the main ways that I end up eating crab apple butter and um, if you recall the videos that we made um the crab apples um that i made the first batch of crab apple butter with uh they were red right and we ended up making these guys it's sort of a nice reddish tint to them right now one thing that happened later on the summer was um when i went to uh, a music festival and we put up um put up like three videos or two or three videos on uh, sufi whirling when i went to the festival um if you watch those videos you know what i'm talking about uh when we went to the small town where this festival was at we actually came across two other large crab apple trees and they were like full of crab apples so what we ended up doing was um picking a whole bunch of crab apples uh almost twice as much as what i had um for the red batch that we made what i showed you and I actually um, sort of went about um, sort of making another video of cleaning these new batch of crab apples uh, that I bought. It was basically, oh, not bought, that I picked. It was basically um, a video that I was making uh, for the politics. Uh, some people asked me what my take was on politics and the election and stuff like this. So I figured uh, we'd clean crab apples and uh, talk about politics. Um, but that take, that was my first take on the politics video. And uh, I went off on too many rants. So I ended up putting up, you know, doing another take. And the third take basically is the one that I loaded up um, on my channel. And that's the one you see where there is no crab apples being cleaned, right? Uh, so the second batch of crab apples I made, they're more yellow oranges so let me show you what these both look like right this was from the one you saw with the crab apples making crab apple butter is red and this is the orange one and um i think consensus is that we like the orange one better um i'm not sure why this one the red one is really good but it's fairly strong um so let me show you uh you know because i'm gonna use i'm gonna sort of uh, use both of these uh, crab apples because I love the color. So this is a fresh, fresh batch, uh, a fresh jar that I just cracked open. Uh, Cause we've been, since we had a lot of, lot more of this one, uh, we've been eating this one a lot. Um, this one, the red one, we sort of went ballistic at the beginning. <laughs> Our supplies dwindled a fair bit, right? Um, so one way that I, eat crab apples and once you crack them open I keep them in the fridge but one way I eat crab apples is if I have a craving for something um, just something tart something sweet uh, just working at home and I just need something uh, some kind of flavor uh, I just go to the fridge and basically take a jar either this one or the orange one that we have and I just usually take a spoonful right and I just incredibly tart this one incredibly tart okay very delicious so that's one way i eat crab apples and you 
never never double dip right so let's put this spoon on the side and here's the the batch that we're almost finished of the orange one and this one definitely you know have a spoonful as well right same deal but less tart it's got more of a sweetness to it and um, what we did for this batch um, when I made it or when we made it I added a little bit of cinnamon I broke it up into two two different batches so this one is the one with cinnamon in it and this one is the one without the cinnamon in it and the red one didn't have any cinnamon either i don't think we put any cinnamon in um so we have a sort of three different flavors of flavors of crab apple uh so that's one way i eat i eat crab apples you know during the day i just come over to the fridge and pick up a spoon and just eat a little spoonful it's extremely delicious and it gives you a fair bit of energy it's got the sugar and whatnot now another way that we eat crab apples is on toast okay let's use this one and i'd like you know let me show you this i sort of prepped this this is sourdough okay sourdough bread and i put feta cheese on it and this is sort of a seedy bread and it's it's fantastic it's got tons of seeds in it and above it and you know and this is um sort of old fort cheese um so what i end up doing usually if i'm having toast sometimes i do eat it by itself um just toast and crab apples but basically take a spoonful or a little bit more maybe oops i should show you this i guess eh? take a spoonful and i sort of spread this on top of the the one with feta and feta and crab apples wow so so good You're fantastic right now when i eat it with the, the cheddar i don't put the cheddar on first because with the feta you can spread it so it's you know fairly solid on there with the cheddar i usually put the crab apples first right oh should we do it with the red one let's do it with the red one Why not? i actually haven't had the red one uh, for a while now because we've been going ballistic with the orange one so let's put this on You can see the color difference, eh? Looks beautiful. Mm, actually, let's use a different, use a different knife, cleaner knife. Right. So sort of spread that around. Right. By itself is amazing. And butter, mm, butter. Right. So just by itself, fantastic. this bread is amazing they put a little bit of a it's a local bakery and in the CD one they put a little bit of peppers in there I think because it makes it a little bit of spicy and with the cheese I just lay the cheese on top right I'll finish these toasts up later I'll show you the next thing that I eat usually with so good with the cheddar with the old cheddar wow fantastic with it oh 
Why don't we finish off this toast? We'll finish the feta one later. Delicious, delicious. Lemon water. a good starter right now let me show you one way that i eat uh, the crab apples a fair bit which is basically in cereal okay so i got my cereal bowl here and i have a pretty big bowl of cereal uh, sometimes and what i'm gonna do is i'm sort of going um, ballistic with the cereal i usually don't mix all of these things that i'm about to show you but uh, uh why not right so let me show you the cereals that i usually eat with and these are uh, i like these because they're sort of crunch crunch and they're you know like good cereals it's like little guy right? so there's two different little whirly things here there's these ones they're harder and then there's these ones that are softer they use different uh, uh, flour in there, I guess, or grains, I guess. Um, I'm not going to bother pronouncing the names. Okay, so that's one batch of... Right? And then uh, I do mix in these ones too. Uh, these ones are rice ones. They're like crumbly. <laughs> Look at these ones guys okay just mm -hmm. they're really delicious and then these are the flaky cereals that I sometimes use so there's four different types of cereals going in here so we're going ballistic with it All right and what I end up doing is um, I eat the cereals with yogurt. Okay, so I pour yogurt on top and I use hemp milk. Okay, so I'm going to throw in uh, some spoonfuls of yogurt in this. Mix it up. Okay. Let me show you. Yogurt. Throw in hemp milk. Don't need it all. And then what I end up doing is, uh, let me use my spoon. I sort of mix it around. We're sort of sitting in, in autumn right now, so there are certain fruits that have come out. And if you recall, um, we put out a couple of videos on autumn olives. So there's a local, uh, a couple of trees locally that I'm, you know, we went and picked autumn olives. And these autumn olives last a while if you put them in the fridge. And there's dates here, okay, chopped up dates. So I do mix in fruits with my cereal. So autumn olive and dates. Let's get all the dates in there. I love the dates so good it's like power food um and we got apples and pear okay chopped up so throw that in there i do like bananas too in my cereal and i got uh hemp seeds right get a little protein in there right. fair bit of protein actually so throw in the hemp seeds so mix this up right And then 
what I end up doing is taking crab apples. Now I'm gonna use, uh, I haven't had it with the red one for a long time. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna mix them both, why not? You know, I take a spoonful like this, put it on the side, sometimes more. I should put this put a little bit more. And let's put some of the orange one in there too, yeah? Let's put some of the orange one in there too. Nice. There's the orange one. There's the red one and there's the orange one, right? And I don't mix those all, all around. What I do, I sort of treat it like ramen style, right? Have the stuff mixed here and there's certain things with ramen, either the bamboo shoots or uh, the seaweed or whatnot, right? If you like, those are separate flavors. I sort of, what I do is sort of take a little bit of the crab apples and mix it in with the fruits and the yogurt and off we go, right? Um, so this is one of the main ways. I eat this a few times a week and I definitely take spoonfuls of crab apple on a daily basis, basically. Uh, and with toast and cheese and stuff every now and then, uh, no, fairly often, I guess I do, and even the snacks during the afternoon. Okay, uh, so to answer your questions, uh, this is the way uh, I eat crab apples. Three of the ways I eat crab apples, and one other thing we did with um, crab apple this year was uh, we found a recipe online to make crab apple uh, preserve, like where you eat with um, with hot food, with just like pickles or. Um, a sauerkraut and stuff just a side dish and it's amazing and uh, maybe next year uh, when we end up going picking crab apples again because we're definitely going to hit up so we've got three trees right now uh, we're definitely going to be hitting up these crab apple trees uh, to make a new batch next year so maybe i'll um, you know we'll share that recipe with you because the preserve is absolutely amazing as well okay uh so that's about it. I guess we just sit down and um, have breakfast, have cereal, right? Uh, enjoy the day, the start to the day. <laughs>